Hello and welcome back to the 5 Minute Film Club and today I'm back with another first look. Just received this today in the post and that is a new release from Indicator Powerhouse Films and it is of the Pemini organisation, Pemini organisation, um, getting all my bases covered for what the actual name is. This is a collection of three films from the early 70s um, from a production company that was started by three friends, um, Peter Crane, Michael Sloan and Nigel Hodgson. And they combined the first letters of each of their names to set up the Pemini organisation, uh, a young and vital independent British film production company that was active between 1972 and 1974. And we have three films in the set. We have Hunted from 1972, and that is... Why, why am I looking at through, through the... Let's get this off first. And this is exactly what... This, this is why I love Indicator and Powerhouse films, is their release of utterly forgotten British films. You know, there is nobody else doing justice to the British, um, you know, film history other than perhaps the BFI, but I, I think these sets are just so beautiful. And even if you have absolutely no idea about the films on there, the, the special features that we get in this two-disc set are phenomenal. It is a film school in a box set. So anyway, the films that we get, we get Hunted, starring Edward Wood, Woodward and uh, June Ritchie. That's from 1972. That is a 42-minute um film and then we have Assassin from 1973 82 minutes and then 1974 93 minutes which is Moments and um, the box is uh, number one, 138 and 139 spine number and then incidentally a little geeky bit here is that the actual disc is 138 so let me just open this up and we can have a look at the set properly. So there we go. That coming off. Perfect. So this is limited to 6,000 sets and this is number 1,273 on there. And um, here we go. Let's take out, and of course you get an amazing booklet with it, hard. Perfect. Okay, so look how clean that um, set looks. I mean, I love them. So, let's have a look at the disc. So this is with the title Assassin on there. Um, and what you get in all of these sets is high definition remasters of Hunted and Assassin. They're from 4K scans. Audio commentaries on Hunted and Assassin from Pamini co-founder and director Peter Crane and uh, film historian Sam Dunn. Um, organising principles, Crane remembers the origins of Pamini and his subsequent work in Hollywood. Um, we get An Amazing Time, uh, Pamini co-founder and writer Michael Sloan looks back at his three early films. Uh, Good Chemistry, and that we have the third member of the Pamini organisation uh, co-founder, and that's Nigel Hodgson, uh, revisits an exciting chapter in his life. Um, we get uh, an interview with June Ritchie. Um, we get uh, the score, the veteran Soho musician Graham D remembers his work with Jerry Shuri um, on the compositions for In Search of Lebanon. In Search of Lebanon is a um, like student film uh, from Peter Crane um, and that's included on this um, set as well. So that's inside the set, get the two discs. So Assassin and Hunted are on the first disc and then we get Moments by itself there um, and let's just have a look and see what we get on this side so we have moments as the um, alternative cover on the inside of the set and then we get the powerhouse films classic book it's hardly a booklet it is a fantastic um, 80 page um, set here like book all sorts of interviews essays, photographs from the filming. I'm really interested in these, these these films. I've read a little bit about when they announced the set. You couldn't find anything about these films at all. They have never been released in any format in the UK or the US. Um, 
And so it's going to be really fascinating to see what these films are like. Are these hidden gems, lost gems? I mean, they are lost films, really, for for UK audiences. I mean, if you didn't see this at the cinema, I, I've no idea how you how you discovered it. It'll be interesting to dig in to see in the set to see how that um, how pe- how how these films have um, like come back. Um, yeah. So I, you know, as as with the um, Stanley Long set, these provide a glimpse into 1970s British film um, filmmaking, and I think um, that's that's the reason why I like Powerhouse. Um, and then we get the little set of um, archive production material for these, um, if I can even get into them. So we get production stills. These wonderful stills from the film. What's What's amazing is I. It kind of takes you back to, like pre, um, home home video days where you'd have kind of glimpses of films in books through, through still um, stills from the films, and it would just conjure up an idea of in your own head of what these films are about. So, it'll be exciting to go through through these and actually um, see what they're all about. I have no idea. I've seen the trailers for them and they look like there's almost the last one uh, moment seems to be like some kind of melodrama. Not sure. Um, I will, of course, be doing reviews on these films. So there we go. That is my first look at uh, the Pamini organisation um, new box set from Powerhouse Films Indicator. Um, please let me know your comments of the of these films down below. If you've got this set, watch the films, then please comment under this video and let me know which one is your favourite, what you thought about them, which one, you know, I'm probably going to go this in order, uh, Hunted Assassins, and then Moments. Yep, really excited yet again to get my hands on another box set from Indicator. I've nearly finished my Stanley Long set. It's been a roller coaster of a ride that set um, but I will save my full thoughts until uh, until I do a video on them but uh, please subscribe to this channel if you want to see those reviews and my next review from my 501 must see movies book will be of the 1930 screwball comedy It Happened One Night starring Clark Gable and Claudette Colbert so please join me for that and until then I'll say thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time Goodbye.